So guys, it's gonna be two potato mash and sea bass. So sit back, watch and enjoy. <laughs> Be on starting off with doing the sea bass. We're using the same fateful Mr. Grill. Put it over on that side. I hope you are seeing in the pot properly. And I'll be using coconut oil for this one. Yeah. I'm gonna put my coconut oil in the pot. But this one takes up a lot of space on the stove. I love this pot really, but it just takes up a little bit too much space on the hub. I have my sea bass here, again, complemented of um, Cool Vibes Trading. I ordered um, a lot of meat from him. I ordered a seafood um, package and with some goat meat the other day. And this is the last of my sea bass. Nice fresh sea bass. With my sea bass, I am just gonna have the salt and pepper. I just put them to dry there. So I'm just gonna have salt and pepper. So you see, my sea bass is nice and fresh. It's filleted. I still can feel a few bones in it, but that's the least. So let me add some salt. Oh yeah. And I have another small flat here. I'm gonna be doing the same. So I'm gonna get that pepper. So as you can see it's just salt and black pepper that I had to it there. I have another two fillet here. Because I've um, cleaned them up, use the untold to get excess water out of it. Because um, fish fries better when there's less water in it. What I'm going to be using, I have um, three um, color pepper, red pepper, orange pepper, and yellow pepper, some onions, and that's some carrots there. I'm going to start on the ingredients for the, um, to make the sauce for it. So I'm adding a bit of olive oil again garlic olive oil and again I'm going the lazy way today I'm using all already chopped up garlic and chopped up ginger I didn't put too much olive oil you can see so I'm less than a teaspoon a lazy garlic I didn't let the pot pot again for the garlic because it's um, going to go all over the place. I'll be adding some ginger again. And this ginger have a bit of vinegar inside of it so I'm going to be pouring some of the vinegar um, juice from it later. I'm adding lots of ginger. Sea bass and ginger goes very well together. Almost there. Yep. So I've had in my carrots now. And I'm not um, overdoing it because I like the crunchiness inside your vegetables or salad food or whatever you want to call it you know me guys I'm crazy for beautiful color in the pot then I'm gonna have the rest of it that's the pepper and the onion to it now The coconut oil just give it a nice, nice smell. Oh my God, the smell is real. And with sea bass, you don't want to over season your sea bass or had too much of anything. And that is why I'm using minimal stuff today. Because sea, sea bass have a nice, authentic taste to it already. So. 
adding too much then you won't be tasting the taste of the fish and you don't want to lose that taste I'm just gonna add a little bit of chili flakes just a little a little bit of thyme to that I had a little bit of um, turmeric And you will notice from time to time in my video, keep on repeating this, I don't measure. <laughs> it's a Jamaican thing. We estimate, we don't measure. And for some reason, it always comes out to the perfect taste. The reason why you might be wondering, why is the Sivas in for so long? Because it's on the lowest eat. So, Sivas, this is looking lovely, guys. You can see that there. Really lovely. So less is more. But let me just have a bit of taste of this to see if anything else. Just tasting it. Oh, the ginger is kicking in it. It's really, really kicking. I think I just had a little bit of the Maggie just for liquid. Really. So I won't be adding no salt in this one because it's already the Maggi season of salt in it already. Right, let's just check on the sea bass now. Ooh, la, la, la. Look at that guys. Nice slick cook right throughout. So my sea bus is ready and my extra spit, what is going on the sea bus is ready. So the next time you see the sea bus, it's going to be ready to eat. Just see you in a minute. So guys, I'll be showing you the full presentation of this one, how I plate it. So that's the sea bus that I did earlier on on the plate. And what I'm going to do is my ginger and garlic and pepper and onions I fed it earlier on. Just gonna add some on top of the sea bass. Yeah. You can see me having it there. Then my potato that I did earlier on, my two mash, my two potato mash. Just gonna be scully, butter, put the sea bass with it. And that's why I do detailed um, cooking when I'm doing it, so you can follow it step by step. No, there's no broken corners there. 